In this video, we're going to be giving you the latest news from Madden 23 and walking through the closed beta feedback together and really talking about one of the things that I think is actually really, really important uh, whenever we look at this upcoming game. So um, just wanted to take a look here at some of the game play uh, feedback. This is interesting right here. Uh, don't drastically change the game. Leave coverage reaction time alone. Uh, I thought this was really interesting. I uh, just wanted to notice the dev note here. The number one feedback topic that we received was this one. Rest assured, Madden community, our vision of the game balance is consistent with yours, and the gameplay you experienced in the closed beta is what you will be playing on launch day. There's been polish added, bugs fixed, but by and large, as you can see here, the overall experience will be as you played in the closed closed beta i've been doing videos on the channel for the last month and a half with content that i learned in the closed beta just sharing them with you on madden 22 this is something that i've talked about on my channel for the last several years they're not going to wholesale change the game from beta to game that's why everyone was saying in madden 22 that the game was so broken it was it needed to be patched there were so many bugs out of its mind but there was bugs and then there's gameplay okay i want to say that again there's bugs and then there is gameplay the game was designed a specific way the user was supposed to be slow routes were um, tight end blocking was supposed to work right the way that it did running backs not being able to pick up pressure was supposed to work the way that it did at least that's what we can take away because they've had over a year to fix all of those things or change those things and they didn't do that the game that I was looking back at my channel there's things that I broke down last summer that actually still very much so applied in in Madden 22 to this day so the point is just to simply tell you guys um, that you know they're not gonna wholesale change it so a lot of the content that we found in the beta is going to apply into the game um, so really excited about that if you want to learn all that stuff make sure you join our patreon we've got a ton of ebooks we're working on behind the scenes right now getting ready for launch and the cool part about it is our uh, patreon members hey they got a whole defensive guide in july um, and there's going to be more to come from that as well with content that again we can teach in madden 22 that does work in madden 23 based on our playing the beta so anyways um all i'm saying is just uh take that with a grain of salt like you know again they're not going to wholesale change the game okay um not i don't really care about this honestly um i don't know i guess they're not putting referees in it's not really a big deal to me uh play awareness too easy to run the same place over and over again Okay, let's take a look at this. We've made a number of changes since the closed beta to bring more balance to gameplay. We believe these changes will bring more variety to play calling, but we want to hear from you, our community, when the game launches to let us know how you feel about these changes. Uh, Logic added, oh, this is interesting. Logic added so that when defensive backs are playing in linebacker positions, they will have slower reaction to the running game. Um, I think that's going to be interesting because I do think that you're going to see people in Madden 23 have a more run focused offense. Um, I'm interested to see how this affects like shotgun runs, like out of trips, uh, tight end for, per example, um, just how this, how that, uh, handles that. The reality is, you know, every year we want to try to find gap shoots for runs as opposed to relying on our defenders. So just something to kind of think about, um, this right here is probably the biggest thing that I wanted to take just a second and talk about. Remove the ability to hot route tight ends to a pass block assignment when in a two-point wide receiver stance. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what this means, um, and this can act could actually be massive for the Madden uh, the Madden deal. So uh, or the the Madden 23 uh, meta. So I'm going to go over here to Huddle GG. Just wanted to show you um, just want to show you this um, this playbooks and I want to show you something really uh, really really interesting. So I'm just going to go over to Patriots playbook here and this could literally be game changing. So if you take a look at um, like Gun Bunch. Gun Bunch has been the number one offense for as long as I've been playing Madden. In fact, I'll literally always go it goes all the way back to like Madden 12. Uh, Madden 11 bunch has been good for a really long time. Okay. Um, part of what makes bunch so good is the fact that you can block a running back on one side of the formation and you can block a tight end on the other side of the formation. If they're saying, if you look, if you take a close look at this right here, you're going to notice that this tight end is off of the line of scrimmage. And whenever they're off the line of scrimmage, let me just pull up. Um, let me just pull up a game here. Um, to explain this and i like i said i think this is the biggest thing that we found okay so this is henry and wesley in the madam bowl and i just want to show you something 
um, here. So if you take a look here, you're going to see, if you see that, see that tight end right there? He is in a two point stance. Okay. So let me see if I can just get a regular play. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So this guy right here is in a two point wide receiver stance. And they, what they're saying in this uh, developer notes is that this guy can no longer be hot routed to a block. Um, that's going to be interesting. Now there's some tricks that we know, um, exist in Madden. It'll be interesting to see if those still work where you can max protect out of like a cluster type set. And then you can motion a guy and block that way. Um, but this was really one of the biggest reasons why bunch was so good, especially this year, blocking the tight end literally blocked almost every blitz in the game. And so this is a huge deal. Now it doesn't just apply. Um, it doesn't just apply to bunch. Let me show you something else. So this is Decrov versus Fancy back in Madden 21. And I'm just going to show you what you'll see. So Decroft is kind of famous for this formation. He actually went away from it this year, but I want you to look at the tight end. Now, he's not in a wide receiver stance, but he is off the line of scrimmage. And he is in like a two-point stance, if you will. Um, so that'll be interesting to see if he's still able to block. Because if this is the case where you can't block the tight end and bunch, and you can't block the tight end in U-trips, it really does change a lot for the offensive meta. Now, um, a formation like trips tight end, for example, what you'll see from this is if you look here, this is the tight end position. He's on the line of scrimmage. Now, let me just try to show you. Let me go back to this earlier in this game when Fancy was on offense, and I'll show you kind of what this looks like. So you see here that the tight end is on the line of scrimmage. So what they're saying, if again, if you read this the way I'm reading it, it's saying that this guy in this scenario can block, but out of a bunch set, they're not going to be able to, which is a it's a big deal. Um, it's it really is going to change a lot. Okay, uh, so that's just something else. Um, and then I think really what it comes down to is EA is trying to, in their own way, make bunch less effective. Um, it's still going to be effective, but I want to show you something else. Adjusted the corner route in bunch formations and the corner hot route in the hot route master and slot apprentice abilities to align with the other corner routes throughout the playbooks. I'm not really sure where this could go. This could mean a lot of different things. Um, I think what they're basically saying is that the corner route that we've seen for the last several years thrown in bunch, if I go to the Colts playbook here, this corner route right, like curl flat, let me see if they have it. This one specifically, I think, is what they're looking at. This sharp cutting uh, corner route where he goes like super deep down the sideline. It seems like they're saying that they patch that. Um, I'm not really sure why they would. Um, and then if we look closely here, uh, adjust the corner route and bunch formations of the corner hot route and the hot route master slot apprentice abilities to align with other corner routes. So what I, the way that I hear that or the way that I read that is I think you're going to see a corner route that looks a little bit more um, like standardized, which will be interesting to see how that plays out just in terms of the meta. Um, but let me go back over to the Patriots playbook, and I'll just show you how to trips tight end. So with trips tight end, you have a couple different types of corner routes, um, but I think what they're saying is it's going to probably be like this PA slot corner. That's just my read on it, but... I could be wrong. I don't really know what this means. We'll have to see it when we get in the game. Uh, I really like this. Um, made improvements to man coverage, pre-snap alignment. Uh, this has been something really important that they need to do. It can also push this to a man-to-man -man meta. But, I mean, at the end of the day, like, you, I, I feel like this pre-snap alignment deal has been an issue in Madden um, for a long time. Uh, for a long time. So, I really hope that this is good. Now, let's take a look at some of the next uh, couple things. Pulling linemen are too slow or indecisive. Tuning and AI changes were made to make pulling linemen be more explosive on top of the foundational improvements. Um, okay, so basically they're saying they're going to pull better, so base is still going to be good. Counter is still going to be good from trips. Um, dev no, or uh, Pass blocking is not strong enough or too many instant sheds. Um, this was something that they knew about in the beta. I think there was something they even said they were going to tune. Um, I'm really interested to see this answer here. So as noted in the closed beta, beta gridiron notes, this was a little bit uh, earlier, 
There was a bug causing the super winds to trigger too frequently earlier in the closed beta, which was a primary contributor to the overpowered feeling. Looking at overall defensive gameplay, having a powerful pass rush is critical to balance the game. I 100% actually agree with this. Um, I think this is really underrated uh, statement. Having a powerful pass rush is critical to balance the game. It really is. Now, the question is, is it a four-man pass rush, three-man pass rush? You know, what does that look like? But in the real NFL, like, they don't have, you know, you really list, realistically are going to have, you know, maybe two to four seconds depending on the pass rush. So I'm really excited to see how this works out um, and how it changes. It's going to change everything about the game because if you think about it, if you are an offensive player and you only have two to four seconds, you have to be way more strategic with your route combinations. You can't wait for a crosser that's going to take seven seconds to develop down the field. So I really like this. Um, the pass rush at launch is still going to be more powerful than it is and was in Madden 22. I'm really excited about that because i really do think that it's going to um it's just going to force people to have to work a little bit more on the offensive side of the ball especially in a game where they're still going with a slower user so this is a really i think a decent um you know we'll just see how it goes it'll be interesting to see um it's my opinion, but I think the pass rush being good is good for the game because it opens up a lot of schematic things, especially defensively, because you could go with the heavy blitz scheme. You could also go with a lot of match coverage or different types of coverage combinations because you know you're going to get a decent shed um, in terms of like, um, you know, it'll be interesting. It'll also be interesting to see how powerful post up is. I think if you can rush three, if you can rush three, so that's two defensive ends and a nose guard. Or out of a four down lineman set, that's maybe your maybe your uh, one technique, and then you bluff blitz your three technique, and then you have your two ends rushing off the edge. I actually really think that if you can have decent wins on that, especially um, because the reality is the post up can only you know you know can only double team um, in that scenario. You can only double team two people. So if that other person can shed consistently, um, I actually think that's a good thing uh, because of the fact that I think if you rush two post ups should like work well against that so it forces you to rush at least three or four it just changes what you can do from a coverage combination perspective and anyways uh i'm actually really excited about that i think that's a good i think that's a good thing we'll see how it goes though in the game uh this is really important user interceptions are not always responsive uh very true we saw that in madden 22 to an absolute extreme um where you literally can't pick anything um user interception uh tuning to catch animations increased range for jumping interceptions increasing range okay all right fair enough i'll take that i'll take that right there if they can increase the range for me to actually animate that's fine with me now this will be interesting here tuning to significantly decrease situations where the player is requesting play ball without seeing the corresponding animation response um so to me what that says is if you're going to be in your coaching adjustments i would put this on play ball um the the how you play the ball or whatever uh man coverage fake outs are too frequent um i don't know about this one uh tuning to significantly reduce the frequency of fake outs by man coverage defenders added new logic so the fake outs could be used in super win situations where the ratings is heavy heavily favored in uh for the wide receiver um so basically they're complaining <laughs> this is interesting so they're complaining or the beta feedback was that man coverage was broken um and i don't i don't agree with that um i think man coverage was really good in the beta and i think it's going to be really good at launch and so you know we need to have routes that can get separation against man to man um, we need to have formations that we can use or concepts and so if the fake outs are basically going to be decreased that's going to be interesting to see how that works um so would be just just monitor that but i think man coverage is going to be really good day one uh so i was kind of surprised that this was feedback that was given um just personally uh too many fumbles i don't know about that um i disagree not enough hit stick variety. Uh, who cares? Wide receivers should win more contested uh, catches and mismatches. This is kind of true. Um, this is kind of true. But man, if you played Madden 16, this was this was crazy. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, we'll see how that goes. 
Uh, Skill-based passing can be difficult to understand. That's very true. Uh, Devno, even though it was not in the closed beta, when you first turn on the game at launch, you will have the opportunity to play through an onboarding flow to learn more about the new passing system. You will also have the opportunity to lab deeper in practice mode. <laughs> That's true. Um, and lastly, additional work has been done on the in-game feedback systems. Honestly, we'll see. We'll kind of keep abreast of this. Um, I didn't like this at all. Um, I do see that it could be like actually a. It's way better than what they did before, but I didn't like it, and mainly because there's certain things that they take out of the game for you to be able to do this. Um, and I also don't like the fact that you can't. I wish one of the feedbacks was you can't throw a low point curl route in an accurate way. Um, I think this. The passing system is really going to be interesting because this kind of reminds me, honestly, of Madden 20. Um, but I think it's going to, I think because of the slow user not being able to lurk 40 routes, um, I do think you're still going to be able to pass the ball well. But I don't know. I just, I just think that they're passing, they've got to figure out a way to incorporate skill based passing with low balls and high balls and all that stuff so that we can actually have full control. And I did like how it's kind of like 2K almost, where it's like you have a shot meter when you throw it. I actually kind of like that. Um, but I think people don't understand that Madden is like a really fast-paced game. And so this, to me, is going to take way too much time um, to, to like do in the middle of a play. But that's just my opinion. Um, so I just, I just wish they'd fix low balls to be honest. Um, but that's pretty much it, um, about this. I can't tell you, this is very, very interesting. Um, let me jump on Twitter here real quick and see if I can show you some of what people were saying about this. Um, let me see if I can find, um, yeah, here we go. Here's some different things here. Um, you know, Zan, shout out to Zan logic added so that when DBs are, he, he's a big fan of that. Um, Civ bunch will assumedly still be really good. Routes are literally just the best in the game, but anyone trying to downplay not being able to block your tight end is wrong. And I think he's right about that. Um, he responded to this. Let me see if I can actually, um, I can't dang it. Let me see if I can find the actual original post. Um, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of debate about bunch. Um, I agree with Decroft here. This is in, this is, this is the bottom line with EA and they really need to fix this. Um, make linebackers able to jump. They are already at such a disadvantage because EA will not give them the correct change of direction ratings. That's true. Let alone the fact that they can't jump. Rest of the patch notes are great, like seeing the fact QB fumbles in the pocket have been reduced. I actually agree with that. I was fumbling a lot in the, on that one. But, yeah, I agree with him on this. If they're going to make this a reality where you can't put safeties in at linebacker and nickel sets to be able and, and still effectively be able to stop the run, then they really need – and if you think about it from a schematic standpoint, this would so help the game. If linebackers could react to the ball in pass coverage, this would so react uh, – like it would re significantly help – um, it would significantly help uh, the game in my opinion because of the fact – um, because of the fact that you can, uh, now run different stuff. Like you could run uh three, four bear. You could run three, four odd. Um, if that's, we can't run those sets because the linebackers literally don't, re don't react. So, um, that, that I think if I agree with him on that, I really do. So yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for me. Let me just kind of scroll through this Twitter feed. Uh, yeah. In Stony, this guy is actually a really good labber. Uh, he's kind of a lab rat. So if you haven't, checked him out i would recommend checking him out but yeah that's basically the biggest thing uh with all this stuff so if you want to um take your madden game to the next level i would really encourage you to join our patreon uh we've got a lot of stuff planned for madden 23 and um i i think i literally have like 50 offensive and defensive ebooks that I want to do this year, providing that they all work like I think they will. So I would really encourage you to get in there. We're going to try to make sure you get the, the best bang for your buck. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. It'll get you access to everything. Um, you get access to like all of our men, 21, 22 stuff as well uh, with that. But yeah, that's the that's the man 23 beta uh, or uh, uh, feedback, gridiron notes, all that stuff. 
wanted to do a video on this hope you enjoyed it and again um i want to just say this real quick as i close this video out for those of you still watching um we've been talking about this stuff for the last month and a half and i knew this was going to be a, a thing they're not changing the way the game plays they're tuning little bitty pieces like how frequently your quarterback fumbles or what the time or how um, dominant the pass rush is they're not going to wholesale change the game the zones are going to play the same the routes are going to work the same um so anyways that is pretty much my opinion and just review on all this stuff and uh, hopefully this gives you some insight into what's about to come out here in a couple weeks and again make sure you're in the patreon so that you can get access to our stuff as soon as it launches